Alexa, turn on the office lights. Okay. I got the NLP pipeline to work. It actually, it's not perfect, but it works. Let me show you. Let's take a look here. Basically, what's happening is if I have this sentence right here, which is, says, I am a software engineer. What we can do is we can create this chart right here, this graph, which is a dependency graph, which shows every word, it's part of speech, and how it depends on other words in this text. And we'll just go through and create uh, a little table that shows kind of everything broken up a little bit. I don't know if I'd say more clearly than the graph, but just a little bit differently. And then from here, I have this kind of a nested, nested and nested and nested for loop. And then down here, it says that they could be a software engineer or sorry, it could be an engineer, more specifically a software engineer. So it actually works pretty well. So basically what I would do is I would have a lot of other, I guess, things like that. I probably want to make it a little bit less complex in terms of like time complexity and maybe make it a little bit more efficient. But it works pretty well, pretty reliably, sort of. And there's some other like kind of edge cases that I have to account for, but it works pretty well. And um, yeah, like I think this is really, really cool. So now I can kind of continue this and I can make different rules for different, you know, things that I see. And uh, yeah, man, this is really cool. Working on the AI portion of things, that's like the NA, the yeah, the NLP stuff. It's actually been going pretty well. I mean, you know, NLP is I think a bit of a complex thing, and I'm certainly no expert, but you know, all things considered, it's been going pretty well. So what I have right now is like a pretty good way to determine someone's job based on you know what they submit. So if they say I am a software engineer, you know, we can figure out what their job is that they're a software engineer. If they say, you know, I'm a software engineer and a founder. We can also figure that one out too. That's what I was just working on. And then if later on they say I'm a founder or I'm the founder of such and such company, we can get that too. So I think that's going to be pretty good. Now, what we can't do yet that I have to figure out is if they say I'm a backend software engineer, then it will think backend engineer and software engineer are two different things. And that's not correct. We want to figure out how to make that kind of work correctly. Um, because in that case, they're really still a software engineer. Something that really is necessary that's becoming more and more necessary is allowing the groups that I'm working with to kind of be or have uh, member directories on on life where people can log in, you can see who's in the group, you can edit your profile, you know, normal stuff that you might do for a member directory, I guess. What happens right now is like I'm just importing, you know, uh, data that has the information about the users and then I send out an email for each person that I that I import. And so what I need to do is make each one of those imports, not just a record in the database, but also have a, uh, an account uh, in Firebase, a Firebase auth account. I know it's possible. I've just never done it before. So, you know, I have to figure out what the workflow should be. We want people to be able to log in later on through, you know, Gmail or, or Google or uh, Apple. And so allowing that as well. I think probably this week is that will be something that I'm working on as well. Um, in addition to like member profiles, so the person within a group can have their own profile and you want them to be able to, you know, see other people's profiles and see, you know, okay, well, what other problems does this person have and, and that person have and how can I help them and stuff like that. So cause it's all like the professional relationships. And so, um, that is something else. So those, these are the three development things that we're going to be working on. But the, um, I would say that the authentication aspect of it is like necessary, but it's not as necessary right now, at least as the NLP stuff. The NLP stuff is really like, it's helping me so that I don't have to spend as much time doing this stuff because up until now it's been, you know, staying up all night, pulling all nighters, to, to kind of look at someone's profile and say, okay, well, this is how they should be modeled in the database. This is the expertise that they have. This is the problem that they have. This is what they do for a living and stuff like that. And so um, it's been working quite well, but it's not, it's not scalable, it's not sustainable. And now that, now that I've validated that that does work when it comes to making matches, 
and uh, recommending, you know, recommendations and connecting people, um, I think we need to, to take a next step and that's automating things a little bit more. The other thing that I need to do is start thinking about how to validate my business model. Basically, that's gonna mean talking to customers. Well, I've actually already talked to the two groups that I've been working with and the organizers in those groups are like, yeah, this sounds good. I think this will work. But, you know, just because you say, I think this will work, this sounds reasonable to me, doesn't really mean that it is gonna work in the real world. So. The next thing to do is gonna to be to actually go and find people in these groups, like members of the groups that are willing to have a conversation. Like, hey, you know, they a lot of people know who I am now because I've been reaching out to them because I've been doing everything so manually. And so like, I've been talking to people personally and, and getting to know them. But now it's like, hey, you know, let's, is this in fact what you do? Do I understand this correctly? And let's have a conversation. I'm gonna ask them some questions. Like, you know, have you ever done this before? Like this thing that I'm, validating, you know, as an example, if I'm, if I'm validating that people will pay a subscription, a monthly fee to be a part of an organization, um, you know, I would want to validate this and I would want to say like, Hey, have you ever paid to be a part of a group before? Or have you, do you pay to be part of any groups right now? Um, do you attend the meetups for those groups? Things like that. Right. So it's, not subscription based at the moment, but like that would be, those would be like the questions that I, that I want to ask. Um, I, I created a sub stack, so I'm going to be like, I'm going to have a newsletter coming out too, actually. So if you want to do that, if you want to follow that link in the description, um, so I'm going to have a sub stack newsletter. And so I'm going to try and write, uh, some, some posts and, uh, kind of build up like a content library that I can start to, to send out over the course of the next few months. And, you know, I want to get better at writing. I want to share different perspectives and different things that I don't necessarily talk about in the YouTube videos because maybe it's just not the right format. Um, so I'm going to try and think about that too. I think those are like really the biggest things for right now that are kind of on my mind. And, but these are like, if I'm honest, like this is like the fun part. Like this is like the journey I think of entrepreneurship and it is quite fun. And, um, hopefully these videos aren't like boring or too boring. At least I would try and maybe be a little bit more transparent about what I'm doing and how things are going. I don't have like, you know, cool scenes of me like walking in the streets of a big city like New York because I live in the suburbs I'm, and I work in my home office. So it's like, I'm not going anywhere really. And I'm, I'm a little, I don't know, paranoid or nervous. I get nervous is a better word. A little nervous about, you know, recording it in like a coffee shop or something. I mean, I see people do it all the time, but maybe one day we'll do it. But today's not that day because usually I'm working uh, from my home office. So I don't really have the opportunity to do that. All right. So it's about, I think it's almost like 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. And I actually, uh, today was my sister's birthday. So we went out and did some like family stuff. It was a lot of fun. We actually made pizza for dinner. So it was a great time. Uh, but it's pretty late for me. I get up at 5 a.m. every day. So I'm gonna go to bed, call it a night there, call it a day. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I make vlogs about my journey trying to bootstrap my own startup and basically realize my dreams of being an entrepreneur. If that sounds interesting to you, then come along for the ride. See you guys in the next one. Take care, peace.